What are we talking about today? Has the car branded watches that are sold in a parts department that some of us have scoffed at up their game? Hi everyone, today I'm drinking Blue Bottles Opascope. Cheers! So I normally take really good care of my car, except when it's under attack by giant robots or giant whatever this is falling from the sky. And I just took my car in for an oil change and in the display case in the parts department where they sell car branded accessories like umbrellas, pens, sunglasses, and of course the cheaper watches that most of, our, most of us are familiar with, usually with a quartz movement and they're sold for about $150 or $200. But on this day, I noticed something different, something that caught my eye, and it's a watch. It's, it's this Oris watch right here, except Oris made the watch for Audi. And instead of having the Oris branding across there, it said Audi. It was the same watch as this, uh, except for the subdials. The subdials were at the three o'clock, six o'clock, and nine o'clock hour marker, and the Audi logo, the four, the four rings are across the top instead of Oris where this is. But it's the same watch. It's also uh, run by an ETA, I think it was the ETA or the Valjoux 7750 and it has 28 joules. So basically it's the same watch with its slight configurations on the dial. But that's not the interesting part. The interesting part is the price of the watch. Here you can see the Oris is about 3600 and the Audi branded watch was about 850 in the parts department for the identical watch and the the thing that kind of fascinates me about this is Oris first of all is a nice watch it's a real it's a legitimate Swiss, Swiss watch and they make really nice watches but it is not an ooh and ah watch and such as maybe a Rolex or an Hublot or a, a JLC um, we respect and a lot of us agree that Oris is a really nice um, and well-made watch but it doesn't have that ooh factor so for the, such a price discrepancy, it didn't make a lot of sense to me. At this level, between the Oris and the Audi branded uh, watch with the four rings, I think I would actually choose the Audi logo watch because it's it's, an, it's a very eye-catching watch. It's a very nice looking watch. You can tell it's very well made. It is not your typical um, $150, $200 watch that's sitting in the display case of the parts department. It, it's, it's really eye-catching to me. and. It actually could make for a really interesting conversation piece. As nice of a watch as Oris is, it doesn't have quite the cachet that some of the other high-end watch brands have. So to me, the pricing, the, such the pricing discrepancy uh, with these two watches makes me wonder, actually convinces me that the $3,600 amount is just overly, well overly priced. So one explanation I could come up with explaining that such a price discrepancy for basically the same watch is that we know the watch industry is in peril. So for Oris to make a much more affordable watch for basically the same watch would actually provide a really nice and healthy revenue stream. Because we know that these car branded watches actually sell really well, a lot more than I thought. I used to not consider these the cheaper watches as a serious watch. I still don't. Um, I even would admit that I used to consider these watches a joke because it's just not anything that I would wear and I don't really see it a lot of people wearing car branded watches around, but I was wrong. This is really big business. As you can see, there are some companies, and here's one company right here who makes custom, customized watch branded logos for any watch. Uh, if we look at a watch here, this, this is for Acura, and this looks like an IWC Portuguese. Now, I doubt that the owner of an IWC Portuguese would swap out an IWC dial for an Acura, but an Acura logo, but I could be wrong because this, like I said, this is really big business. Or if you look at this watch right here, this looks like a Rolex Submariner. And maybe this is a Steinhardt and the owner of a Steinhardt um, and wants to swap out that for an Acura. That might make a little bit more sense to me. That's more understandable to me. But this is really big business. The cost to have a dial, a custom dial put onto a watch is about $75, which is not really that cheap. Uh, and it varies according to how much customization needs to be done or how much you want done for the watch. But, but companies like this can put any car branded logo 
and design on any watch. Uh, and look at this watch here. This style looks actually kind of cool. Now I'm only choosing Acura because I'm in the A's. Uh, it, they, they do this for every possible watch brand. But here for the Acura, this steering wheel column here looks pretty cool to me. I love cars almost as much as I love watches. I'm really passionate about watches. And the same holds true for, I guess, car enthusiasts. They really love their cars. Uh, I wouldn't go to that extreme of, of having a customized watch with my a car branded logo on a watch, but clearly there are more people than not who would, and that's why all these companies exist. I did a video not too long ago called Car and Watch Pairings, uh, but those are with really high-end high -end watch brands and uber expensive cars, I, like for example, Jaeger and uh, Aston Martin, I think it was Hublot and Ferrari, etc. But those are so, so, so rare and expensive cars. Those are out of reach for most of us. So for the standard luxury cars, uh, I wonder if this is going to be the future with normal watch pairings with this level uh, luxury cars. So I took a look at some other watches. For example, the BMW watches. And I found out that Ball makes the watches for BMW. Ball is also another respected brand. And you can see here, this one goes for about $5,000. Um, but it also is not absent the BMW logo. It's actually in conjunction. You can see here the ball name and the BMW emblem is on the same watch. They share the same dial. And for Lexus, because I used to own I used to own a Lexus, and I remember where they were the the cheaper watches. But Lexus has now partnered with Fossil. Uh, certainly, Fossil is not on the same level as Ball or or Oris. Fossil itself is a really giant company owned by. It, so it's not quite the level of the other two watches, but. For this Lexus watch made by Fossil, it's a $500 watch. Lexus or most Japanese cars are known for bang for the buck, so that might explain why they chose this pairing. Uh, but this watch has actual real carbon fiber material used in it, and that's something because carbon fiber is actually a really expensive material. One of the other watch and car pairings I thought of is the Porsche watch because Porsche was on the same lot as the Audi dealership. Uh, but the Porsche watch used to made, here's a fun fact, Porsche used to be made by IWC and then they were made by Eterna. And for those of us who aren't familiar with Eterna, uh, Eterna is owned by the Chinese Hayden Group, I believe, which also owns Corum. I also thought that the pairing of Oris and Audi was a little bit odd, except in the parts department, they did have several signs saying, Oris makes watches for Audi, or, or words to that effect. For those of us wondering how anyone would know that Oris makes watches for Audi, instead of thinking that this Audi watch is overly priced, well, there, are, there were a couple of signs indicating the Oris and Audi partnership, which makes a lot more sense to me than leaving it up to a parts or service attendant to inform us that this Oris watch is really an Audi watch. Um, and I think this, I really think this is going to prove to be successful because the cheaper watches are successful. And if I was a parts or service attendant, I would definitely point out the price difference between an Oris branded watch and an Audi watch. To be fair, there might be a couple other subtle differences, certainly not visible, but the movement is the same and the exterior materials are the same. So there aren't going to be that many more differences between these two watches. And for the price of this watch versus the Oris branded watch, I think this Audi branded watch is a really good value. And I'm sure if this pairing becomes a success for Audi and its watches, that other car manufacturers will follow suit really soon. So the next time you take in your car for service, check out the parts and accessories department and let me know if your car brand has partnered with a certain watch brand. And thanks for watching. I'll see you the next time.